all right people welcome welcome again to mg sports tv hopefully you guys are doing good we have a wonderful i mean a wonderful show planned out for you guys today this is actually the jamaica versus guatemala preview show and i'm doing it pre-recorded because i have a few things i want to do when i do this live stream especially for the preview show i don't necessarily get the opportunity to run through all the details that i want to sometimes you get caught up in the calls you get caught up in the comments i go way off track go way way off track before you get to the meat of the matter so i want to do a pre-recorded preview show and i'm gonna give you guys i'm gonna run it so basically run it like a live stream like a pre premiere that's what i'm going to do um so these are these these are the things that I have because we have right down here we're going to discuss the jamaica team and the route that they, they have taken so far in the gold cup we're going to go in depth with the guatemala team the statistics the observation the, the team in, in the team analysis of the guatemala team their strengths their weaknesses and how they play we'll be getting into that we have the data available um we're going to discuss the head-to-head -head. also going to discuss the predicted starting lineup for the reggae boys not going to touch on the guatemala team because we don't really know much about their team where the selection process or how they do their selection process but we are certain about the jamaica team so these are all the details we have everything here listed out and we want to run through everything as soon as and fa as fast as possible but we're going to get into good get into it right right now but let's take 10 seconds just 10 seconds people to help us to grow the channel that's the youtube stuff you're going to get a lot of information you come here every day for a lot of information i'm sure it's not that hard to hit that subscribe button and also that like button and we're on the road to 30,000 subscribers as you can see here <laughs> as you can see here see we're at 29,500 help us grow the channel share the content this one is going to be quite interesting um for you guys to watch all right let's get straight to the meat of the matter not gonna waste any any time we're gonna go straight into the jamaica team just gonna analyze the jamaica team um these are these these data will be coming straight off straight off the bat of my head just just, just straight off the top because i have it here no historic um so far for the reggae boys and al grimson scoring um 10 goals advancing to the to, to the quarterfinals a lot of, a lot of things are happening for the reggae boys it's looking good team vibes team moral this training session everything looks upbeat no this is one of our tests i do think that many i i do think that coming to this game i had a little bit more fear for guadalupe than that of guatemala but after rewatching the guatemala team i realized that they have the 12 man which is the crowd which really really pushed them on and and they had to show that fighting spirit nevertheless i do believe it, this should be a good encounter a good test for al grimson let's see how al grimson is going to approach this game now for the jamaica team players to look out for mikel and well we have a good <laughs> a good crop of players demar gray leon daly mikel antonio um kain paris um shamar nicholson young sign and, and dujan richards so these are all the, the, the front the front the front men who were striking at this present moment and um, bobby reed as well so all the front players who are striking you can see we're getting goals from them and you know the, the top striker in the center back position in 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 um Deshaun bernard god that was a class of a finish um from him in that game so certainly we understand what the jamaica team has to offer and uh, we're going to go into predicted lineup, lineup i'm going to leave that a little bit later in the show you guys are going to see my predicted lineup this is a team that i would want to see and i want you guys to drop the ratings for that particular predicted lineup so so far jamaica has a, a good campaign i would believe drew one one with the usa team i do think that usa could have gotten something from that game we should have won the game fortunately but usa also had the better um moments in the in, in the end of the game they'll move on to trinidad which is one of our fierce rivals in the caribbean and certainly we dispatched trinidad i would say quite comfortably i never really expected to, expected it to be that comfortable but we dispatched them quite comfortably then we move on to st kitts and that was almost a bloodbath just almost a bloodbath i do think that we need to be a lot more clinical in front goal just same way because we're still not that clinical in front goal that is an area that we need to work on all right so we're going to jump on over now to the head-to-head -head, which is quite important we have a look at this this is the head-to-head -head, um for the, the reggae boys um between reggae boys and as you can see here, this is the head -head between reggae boys and guatemala quite interesting here um so far 16 meetings 
16 meetings so far. Jamaica has been the, the favorite, the favorite team so f in the, throughout the meeting. Only three loss versus Guatemala, three draw and ten win. That is quite good. That is extremely good. We have three meetings in the Concacaf Gold Cup, and as you can see, one is two nil, three four, and um, and three two. So we have defeated them three times in the Gold Cup in all three meetings, which is actually saying that we we are going to this game. As favorites without even the data available what we have right now at hand with the squad at hand we are already going to this game as favorites but we have to be very careful we have to be very careful about that going to game as favorites and then not living up to expectations sometimes going to game as favorites kind of put an extra pressure on the back and most definitely the first goal is what takes off that pressure so as you can see the head to head is quite is looking good for between Jamaica and Guatemala last game we played was in the 12th of October 2012 so that's 11 years ago 11 years ago people um and we lost that game 2-1 in a World Cup qualification 11 years ago and we lost that what well, a lot has changed over that time period a lot our team has changed and got significantly better I would assume that Guatemala also got significantly better as well during that time period so it is a large large gap right there let's move away from the head to head let's jump into the statistics let's let's go to the first one which is their run so far as you can see um the stats for guatemala team they have played three games two win one draw they have conceded only two goals and scored four which is pretty much good i think they defeated cuba one nil they drew canada nilal and then they defeated um guadalupe um three Two. They defeated Guadalupe 3 2. So, that in all aspects will showcase even the draw with Canada. A lot of persons did not expect that. A lot of persons did not expect that. So, when they, when they were going to the final versus uh, the final uh, match day versus um, Guad um, Guadalupe, they already going that gu gu game in a comfortable position. Fortunately, Guatemala was a team that faced the, 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 the side. And a lot of persons were. Uh, uh, a lot of persons were thinking that um, Guadalupe would have been the team to advance. I personally thought that as well. But you know football. This is football. It's not what you think. It's not what you feel. It's what happened on the pitch. Now let's move now to the analysis of the team. Let's have a, let's have a look at the analysis of the team. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this bigger so you guys can see it quite clearly. I need to make it bigger so you guys can see it quite clearly. This is actually this is actually like uh, the team analysis um their weakness and their strengths so as you can see uh strengths let's start no let's start off with the strengths first um and these are areas that we have to look out for these are the areas that the, the, the reggae boys have to look out for because these are their strengths um double up on wingers as you can see full back center back sometimes they drop in a back five the full the right full back and right center back will double up on the wingers to minimize their chance creation and that's actually quite good. So the, the, in, the, in their defense, that's actually quite, that's really, really good. And I, I, I will find it interesting to, so how, to see how team play against us like that. Because remember that our creativity come from the wide areas in Leon Bailey, Demar Gray, and, and, and these guys. So that would be very, very much interesting. Um, their goalkeeper, they have a quality goalkeeper. I do believe that he has been brilliant so far. He has, he's having a wonderful um, campaign um in the, in the goal cup so that that's a, that's a big heads up i remember that we are not finishing well even though we score so much goal we're still not finishing we're still not that clinical we're still not that ruthless so we need to be a bit ruthless especially in this game especially going up against a quality goalkeeper now transition mid pitch in the middle of the in mid, mid of the pitch that is where they look to strike they don't press they don't really press so that they do, they don't press because they don't press they look to strike in the mid pitch so when they have the ball in the mid area of the pitch they strike and then they they, they 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 attack you and lead on to the last point they attack you in the wide areas they attack you in the wide areas and once they, they push the ball in the wide areas they collapse in the box they, you, they have a lot of numbers i'm um, rushing in and charging inside the box for, for that cross to come in each time they cross the ball they have like three or four players in the box like they hit to the midfield and all the midfield runners so that is something that we have to we have to we have to look out for that's that's very very important we have to look out for and they do and then they have done that time and time again and that's where they, that was, that's where most of their goals um come from now let's have a look at their weakness they stand off as i said earlier they don't press and because they don't press 
that means we're gonna have to play the ball out from the back hopefully we don't have to go long over the top and we don't try to go long over the top but because they don't press that means that we are certainly gonna have to um play the ball out from the back um so we might maybe see a goalkeeper change just assuming and because it um, um we might see because we're gonna play from the back we might see jamal wait um instead of blake we might just say might but certainly We'll see how that one goes. Big space in midfield. As I said, because they collapse in the box when, when they're attacking and when, when the ball is in the wide areas. But because, and also because they don't press and they, most of their attack is, is built on the right-hand side, on, on either wings, it left the midfield vacant. So that is an area that we can exploit. We can certainly exploit in the mid, middle of the park. Um, poor man marking in zone 14. Good. This is an area that I do believe the likes of Demar Gray and Leon Bailey shall have a bit of fun with. They don't mark well. They don't mark well um, when, whenever the, the, the opposing team find themselves in the, in the attacking area. They don't mark well. So that is there. We can, we can have some runoff. Play, really, like, players get inside the box, running behind. We can do a lot of those strategic, um, strategies and get um, results from it. Last and but not least, they don't create a lot of chances. And remember, for them to score four goals in three games, not creating a lot of chances, it means that they average over one goal, 1.05 goals, per game and that would have meant that they have to be clinical and you are you we are certainly seeing that right now that they are clinical scoring four goals it must mean that they are clinical they are not creating they create like one chance per one big chance per game one big chance and they tend to get a goal from that big chance so we have to be careful of that which means that we have to be mindful how we defend and certainly we have to score more goals than them and then they don't score a lot of goals so we have to score like three three goals i think that we might be in the comfortable ball park right there so that covers the that covers the the the, the aspect of the team um analysis of guatemala now we're going to move over to the selected starting lineup um that's the reason i like doing this type of video people because doing this video it actually gives me the opportunity to run through every single thing every details that detail that i would want to get through it, it it does it really really helps me in doing so all right let me just put this above here so you guys can see the the full screen of the team that, 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 that this is actually my team um people uh, i know you guys have your favorite team but this is my team um four two three one i I might say I'm, I'm, I, the, the reason I have been Daniel Johnson is because we need we have to have three in midfield. They don't utilize their midfield. If we have three in midfield, we might that we can dominate the midfield and cause problem for them. Leon Bale out wide. Um, let me keep that right back. We need that overlap because as I said, they would double up on Leon Bailey. So we need so, need a, a wing back who's going to go beyond Javier Brown defensively solid. But we need Lemby Kisa who's going to run beyond Leon Bailey to pull off one of those we, uh, um, wide players from off Leon Bailey because they double up on the white white wingers. So same for Amar Bell. We're going to need Amar Bell to push past the, um, Demar Gray. If Demar Gray is at the um, edge of the 18 box, we want him to go inverted or, or, or beyond to the byline so that we can create some space for either wingers. Mikel Antonio is going to be the man who's going to run in behind because I said they don't mark well in his own 14. So hopefully Mikel Antonio can utilize those areas. Daniel Johnson, important, very, very important. He's the key to this game. He'll be the key to this game. And the reason why is because Daniel Johnson is a creative midfielder in the team. Um, we don't have anyone as creative as Daniel Johnson. And because they, are def they don't mark well in, the, in, in, in their defensive arm um, structure, this is, a, this is a perfect game for Daniel Johnson to put string those passes and create problems for their defenders and, and create chances for Mikel Antonio. Kevin Lambert and Latibo there, just extra de um, security because as I said, they transition in mid-pitch. If we're for attacking forwards ahead of the, the, the midfield, we want to have two central midfielders who can chase back, who can get back and cover the, 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 the white areas where would be exploited by Demar Gray. I'm not um, because Amar Bell will be supporting Demar Gray and Lemmy will be supporting um, Leon Bell. One, those two demons to support those areas. And Bernard and Lowe, we need two quick um, centre backs because their strikers are quite fast. They are they're, they're, they're midfield runners, as I said, attack. We need Demi Lowe because they are physical players. Demi Lowe is quite physical and have the height to match up with them and the pace. And that is would conclude my selection. That would conclude my selection of this 
particular starting lineup and how. For me, I do think that we can get we can get this result. It's true have shown that we are the better team over the years, but remember that we haven't played them in a long while. So this is going to be quite quite interesting. This matchup certainly is going to be an interesting one, and I expect to see a good matchup from the Jamaica team. For me personally, I would say we're going to win this game, maybe two one three one. I do think that they will score. I feel like they're going to score because they're quite little. Maybe they score first, um, but I do believe that if we control the midfield, we'll get the better of them. And I might say that we might create more than enough chances to, for, for the likes of um, Mikel Antonio. Might see Mikel Antonio with a brace. So key player for this match, I'm going to say Mikel, and, Mikel Antonio for this game. This is this is his type of game, I would say. Um, but that would cover everything. That would cover everything. Let me see if I miss anything. Uh, no, I don't miss anything. I've covered everything. So people, that is my preview. Reggae Boys versus Guatemala. That is my preview. Look at it. Watch it. Take it in, soak it in, and we shall definitely advance to the semi-finals based off my predictions. <laughs> and then we have a bigger test. That would be the, the test of the campaign. Anyways, people, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully, you guys are doing good. I expect this to be a very, very good matchup, a very good game from um, Guatemala. And the, once we get the four, we need to get the 12 man out of the, out of the, the game as well, which is the, 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 the fans. And they play a big part in this. Anyways. Hit the like button, people. Smash the like button. And I'll see you guys again. MG Sports TV. And we are out. Boom. I think this is good timing. <laughs> yeah.